Alright, so now when we're doing this with example one, and once again we are on 7.2 um, properties of exponents dealing with um, rationals. Um, now that I have a division sign there, that means I have to subtract them. Well, this is like saying 7 to the first power. So really what I'm saying is I need to take 1 and subtract that from a third. Well, this isn't too difficult, right? 1 minus a third. 1 minus a third is 2 thirds. So all I have left is 7 to the 2 thirds. So the key here is remembering that division means subtraction. With the next one, I need to take that 2 through to both items. So I get 12 to the 2 thirds and 4 to the 2 thirds. But since they have the same exponent, we can rewrite them like this. Since they have the same exponent right here, I can actually take that one third out, which is what this step is showing me, right? They both have the one third, so I'm going to do this in reverse, and I'm going to pull out the one third. The reason I do this is I can simplify 12 over 4. I can simplify that to 3. And then I can do 2 times a third and get 2 thirds, so to officially get my answer it would be 3 to the 2 thirds. So the point by this is sometimes it's easier to kind of work backwards and combine those first. Taking a look at example 2, if you have the cube root, that's the same in both, right? If we have the cube root that's the same, I can just take the two numbers and multiply them together. So 4 times 16 is 64. Because of me doing that, can you find three numbers that are the same, but when you multiply them together, give you 64? Yeah. 64 to the one-third, or the cube root of 64 is 4. And there's only one answer because it is an odd uh, root. You can do the same thing over here. I can combine these two together. I have a fourth root and a fourth root, so I can combine them together uh, to um, get the fourth root of 162 over 2, and 162 divided by 2 is 81. And can you find uh, four numbers that are the same when you multiply them together that give you 81? Uh, of course we can. So 81 to the 1 fourth power is 3, right? The fourth root of 81 is 3, but keep in mind because that is the fourth root, uh, we actually have two answers there because it's an even root, so it will be plus or minus 3 for your answer. Um, example 3 is the cube root of 54. Um, and what we need to realize is I can't simplify that, right? Can you find three numbers that are the same, but when you multiply them together, give you 54? No. No, you can't. So the point is, when you're doing this problem, we need to find something that I can separate 54 into that also has something that's a cube root. And by that, I mean I can separate this into 27 and 2. Why did I choose 27? Well, 27 times 2 is 54, but the cube root of 27 is a nice whole number, right? Can you think of a number, 3 straight times, and you can multiply together, that will give you 27? Yeah. 3 times 3 times 3, right? 3 times 3 times 3 is 27, so the cube root of 27 is 3, so we actually get 3, the cube root of 2, as our answer. Um, with this problem right here, um, the fifth root of 3 over 4, I can rewrite that as the fifth root of 3 over the fifth root of 4. Well, no problem. Except here's the problem. Can you find five numbers that are the same, but when you multiply them together, give you a 3 or a 4? No, of course not. All right. Five numbers that are exactly the same, that when you multiply them together, give you a 4? No way. So here's the point. We need to change the bottom. And what you need to keep in mind is you cannot have a root on the bottom, and you cannot have a fractional exponent on the bottom. You are simply not allowed. You can't do it. It's not the proper way to write these items. So I need to get rid of that root on the bottom. So I f I'm doing this by finding something that's in common. What's the first item that you can think of that you can take the fifth root of? Well, to me, it's 32 because 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 2, 5 times, that's 32. That's what it is. So 4 times 8 is 32, right? 4 times 8 is 32. So if I'm going to take the fifth root of 8 on the bottom, it has to also be on the top. And the reason I do that is I get 
3 times 8, which is 24, and I have 4 times 8, which is 32 in the bottom. And as I told you, the fifth root of 32 is 2. And now I do not have a root on the bottom anymore. The top is simplified because there is not five numbers that will multiply to give you 24, and there's no way I can split them up um, to make one of them that way either. So as long as the bottom isn't that way, we are okay. Um, with a problem now like this, what you need to keep in mind is that this is the same type of problem that you've seen numerous times. Let's pretend that this is 7x plus 2x. Well, if it's 7x plus 2x, you guys know how to do that, right? 7x plus 2x is 9x. Not a problem. Well, this is 6 to the 1 fifth, and I have a 6 to the 1 fifth here and a 6 to the 1 fifth here. The point I'm getting at is it doesn't matter if it's an x, it doesn't matter if it's a dog, it doesn't matter if it's 6 to the 1 fifth, since it's the exact same item. If you have 7 of them and you have 2 of them, you're going to have 9 of them. So you're going to have 9 sixes to the 1 fifth is the point I'm getting at. Down here with this example, um, I can't combine them together because it's not multiplication or division. So I can't just push them together and subtract them. So because they aren't the same, I need to rewrite the cube root of 16. I need to rewrite it um, as something that has a cube root of 2 in it. Because I need to get this and this to be the same. So if I rewrite this as the cube root of 8 and the cube root of 2, right now I have a 2 in both of them. And I can do you one better. The cube root of 8, we know what that is, right? That's 2, or sorry, 3. Um, and the cube root of 8 um, is 2. So if we have uh, 2 of them and 1 of them, then when we subtract them, so when we subtract them, it's the same as me saying, what if I had uh, 2x minus x? Well, 2x minus x is just x, right? Well, since those are exactly the same, it's like having the same variable. So if I have two of them minus one of them, I just have one of them as my answer. Um, when we come back here, I will get started on example five, and we will finish up um, 7.2.